What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video will be episode 5 in our introduction to Kivi with Python tutorial series. So if you missed the first four on setting up our app, um, you know, make sure you go and check out those if you want to follow along line for line. Essentially we've created like the start of a login app uh, with a button that confirms and then tells you um, your username and password. If you want to follow along line for line, I recommend you check those out. Um, otherwise, if you're just here for the concepts in this video, let's get right into it. Today we'll be looking at actually defining um, some set sizes for different widgets in Kivi. So you, what you'll see when you run an app and you don't define anything is it's all just resizable, but it also, um, if you want something to be a minimum height or a specific width, then um, you, you don't really get that freedom because Kivi automatically resizes. So we'll start by taking a look at how to apply a size to just one widget and then we'll also take a look at um, how to define a default size for all the widgets under a specific layout. So to start with I'll take our confirm entry button uh, right and I'll go ahead and it's a two-part process with Kivi. You need to give it a size hint and then you give it uh, a, a actual height or width. So you have to start if you want to find something in pixels and let's say we want to do a height of 100 pixels. You have to start with size hint y equals none. So we don't want to hint. What we want to do is say height is equal to 100. So if we just do that one and we run it, what have I done here? And it takes exactly Oh, it's because it's size, it's size hint Y. I think I said hint, uh, but I typed height. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so now you see not only is the button a different height, but when I resize it, the only thing that doesn't change with resizing is our button. So 100 is a little big. I'll go ahead and kick that down to 70. Um, but real quick, I'll do this and then change it back. It's just the same if you want to do size hint X. And this is getting a little long, so I'll put on a new line. But if you want to do a, a size hint X and define a width, it's it's the same deal. You, you would do none, and then you do width of 300. I'll go ahead and run this. You'll see it looks kind of ugly um, because obviously your whole app is still the full default width. So you can see there when we resize this thing, uh, our confirm entry button doesn't change size, but everything else is still dynamic. Um, you probably most of the time you'll be messing with height or width you usually won't be defining both um, unless you make like one button a specific width and then the right side completely resizable that could be one application for it so I'll go ahead and get rid of the width stuff because it's kinda ugly but just know you can do the exact same size hint Y and height you can also do size hint X and width um, so for now I won't apply uh, the size hint y and height to the rest of the stuff because I'll go ahead and um, define it at a much higher level. So I'm going to go into the inner grid um, and I'm going to say that well now I want everything inside that grid to be a specific, um, a specific height. So I'm going to say self dot inner grid. I'm going to spell it right. I've already shown I'm not the best at spelling things. So self.innergrid and it's row, uh, actually this is gonna, yeah, it's gonna be row default height, or force default. Um, and we're gonna say row force default and we're gonna set that equal to true. And then we're gonna say self.innergrid.row default height and we're gonna set that equal to uh, let's say 150 and true needs to be first letter capitalized there so what we should see now is everything inside that inner grid is going to be 150 pixels tall because we just applied a height setting to all of the widgets inside a grid layout so there you go you see if and if I start um, messing with the overall sizing you can see it looks a little funky because it's trying to change the additional widgets so let's go ahead and make that smaller uh, 50 so it's a little bit easier to look at. <clears throat> so now you can see those aren't resizing even though uh, the outer grid hasn't been, um, had anything changed for it. Uh, so that's kind of a useful way to quickly apply settings to everything. 
Um, we could now to kind of show how that can be comboed with the X direction. Let's say we want to take just our labels and we want to give them size hint X none and we'll say the width of 150. Um, I don't know exactly what this will look like, but it should be close to what I'm picturing. So then we'll do the same thing for our password label. And now when we run this guy, uh, I spell something wrong. Size and X. Oh, yeah, because that needs to be inside. Inside this guy. There we go. So now you can kind of see why you would use an X and a Y. If you have two widgets together, obviously I think the login screen looks a lot better with the labels kind of a fixed size. Um, and then the password being able to be, you know, secret, secret. Your password is now secret, secret. I think this is a pretty sharp look. This is sort of standard. You would make the label not really resize. You would more be interested in uh, the, the text entry resizing. So uh, with kind of, you can apply row force default and row uh, default height. The, the um, counter to that, if you wanted to set a default width, would be column force default. It's actually C-O-L, call force default. So you could say self.innergrid.call force default. Uh, you can set this equal to true. I'll do it real quick. It's gonna look kind of ugly, so I'll change it right back. Um, but then you would say self.innergrid dot column uh, and then default width there it is and if we said that was going to be 300 I'll run this real quick you'll see why I'm not in love with it um, it's kind of janky right I mean it's not uh, it's not a great look because that grid is nested inside of an outer grid so like it, you're giving it um, very little freedom to adapt and resize and Kivi is a really powerful tool when you allow it to kind of dynamically fill the space. So most of the time I would advise just uh, run it every time you make like a style change and make sure it's what you're picturing. Um, but just know like you can uh, mess with an individual widgets height and width in that way or you can mess with an entire grid's set of widgets, either height or width, um, using those uh, master default commands. So I think that's uh, good for this video. Those are kind of two different ways to resize widgets in Kivi. If you have any questions on what you saw here, uh, feel free to let me know about in the comments. And if you'd like to see anything in the future in particular, make sure to let me know about that in the comments as well. And uh, if you found this or anything else on the channel useful, I really appreciate a like and a subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.